I have made a severe and constant lapse in my judgment. And no, 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 this isn't an apology video. I didn't film anyone in like a forest anywhere or anything. No, instead what has gone on here is that ever since 2017, maybe even 2016, I haven't really watched any movies, and I know that might shock you, you know, with major movies coming out all the time, like Spider-Man movies, like uh, Venom movies, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I, I haven't even watched that one yet, uh, The Suicide Squad, with all of these movies coming out all the time, you would think it would be impossible to actually avoid these movies, at least for as long as I did, and that appears to be the case, because while I was over here playing video games non-stop, just chilling out, you know, just having a blast, one thing I wasn't doing was actually sitting down, taking a break from being in control of what's happening, and just watching what happens on the screen. Which is why recently I actually went on the hunt, right? I was like, you know what? I think it's finally time I watch a movie because there was there was a tweet over on my Twitter account that was like the catalyst to all of this, where I was like, I still haven't even watched Spider-Man Homecoming or The Suicide Squad, and I mainly wanted to put The Suicide Squad movie in there because I have a friend who's like obsessed with King Shark. Anything King Shark, this guy is all in your business. He knows everything. He always just makes all the references and all this stuff, and I've never understood them because I've never watched them. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a dumb flex on Twitter, to which people were like, please tell me you've seen this movie. Please tell me you've seen this movie, and I'm just like, no. And I don't know why, but I decided, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to sit down and I'm going to watch a movie. I'm going to watch a few movies, you know, get that back backlog gone so that I'm all caught up with literally everything going on in the movie verse, I guess. And I may have ended up watching more than a few movies. So to put it in comparison here, in the past like four to five days, I've watched the entire Spider-Man Home trilogy. So Homecoming, Far From Home, No Way Home. I've watched both Venom movies, so Venom and Venom Let There Be Carnage. I've watched The Suicide Squad, which actually I just watched like an hour before recording this video. I've watched Free Guy. I've just been watching movies and I've even started DMing, like well, putting in like a private server message area on Discord, movies for me to watch. So I think next up I'm gonna be watching uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and then I'll be watching Doctor Strange. But it's like, I went from being the person who hadn't watched a single movie, it was so out of touch with that world for multiple years, to now watching like all of them in the, such a small amount of time that it's just like, man, good movie after good movie after good movie after good movie. And I know people might be like, some of the movies you've listed aren't actually good, Fire Monkey, but personally, these people are doing stuff that I could never see myself even getting close to making, and they're all making their own cool worlds. I just like sitting back going down for the ride, so as long as the movie isn't something that's literally making me be like, checking my phone every 10 minutes, like, ah, uh, yeah, this movie's boring, let me just see what's going on on Twitter, scroll, 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 I'm gonna be enjoying the movie. Now, if I was to watch it super analytically, I could probably find something to talk about that was, like, bad about a movie, but personally, I'm just there to enjoy my time and go for the ride. And I've been updating my Twitter account on basically every movie I've watched, except for The Suicide Squad, because I'm basically just trying to tweet less on Twitter recently, but I just find it funny how one person, uh, I think their name's, like, I'm Rift, it's Rift, or whatever on Twitter, was like, I'll be waiting for the F I'm Addicted to Movies video on your commentary channel soon, and to you, this is the reason this video exists. I wasn't even gonna make a video talking about movies, but man, I was like, you know what? This is what I've been doing recently. Might as well talk about the fact that I went from having not seen many movies at all to having seen a movie that literally released yesterday being Spider-Man either No Way Home, yeah, No Way Home, and it's like, I'm a changed person. I've learned that there's more to life to, than just video games. There's more to life than just playing the same four games over and over again and then breaking that habit, actually playing different games, and then, you know, watching like one or two episodes of an anime per year. I've learned there's this wonderful solution out there in the life called a movie where you just sit back and you watch what happens, no power needs to be taken by your body or anything at all, and you just enjoy it. And let me tell you, I think I enjoy movies a little bit more. Now, personally, I still have a fear of, you know, just the humans out there in the world, because if you guys don't remember, there's one situation that I, I, I have in the back of my mind at all times when it comes to, oh, hey, let's go to a movie theater. And that is a situation from 2012 
and it relates to a Batman movie. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically there was a guy at a night showing a, 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 like a Batman movie in 2012 in a movie theater, and they started throwing tear gas, and I guess you can assume, based on what I just said there, what happened at that movie theater that day. And it's just like, I'm afraid that if I go to watch a movie with tons of random people in the same area, that that situation could happen. So personally, I'm just chilling at my house watching these movies while laying in bed or the occasional movie watch with my VR headset on. And let me tell you, watching movies in VR is one, really cool, but two, don't lay down while doing it because when you realize that you're laying down with this giant VR headset on your head, it can kind of get uncomfortable a little bit later into watching the movie, you know, and maybe not in the first 10, 20, 30 minutes, but a little bit later in there, it can kind of get uncomfortable. So what I'm getting at here is, yeah, sure, you know, there's all these cool movies and stuff going out of the movie theaters, and, you know, it's like, hey, I'm looking at the cool movies out there, but at the same time, it's like, if I can watch it from my home, even if it's at, like, 144p, the terrible worst quality ever, I would prefer that than go into a movie theater, and honestly, I've just been enjoying watching movies recently, so maybe I could get caught up with literally everything. Maybe I'll learn the entire lore of every single character in the Marvel MC universe. So if you enjoyed today's little rant, commentary, video, whatever you want to call it, consider subscribing to support the content I create, and with that said, I'll catch you champs and champettes next time with another YouTube video. Peace out.